God calling. He's calling you. He's calling me. What's he saying? I don't know. Let's find out. Face today with me. Our Lord and our God, make us all that thou wouldst have us. It is not circumstances that need altering first, but yourselves, and then the conditions will naturally alter. Spare no effort to become all I would have you. Follow every leading. I am your only guide. Endeavor to put from you every thought of trouble, take each day with no backward look, and face the day's problems with me, and seek my help and guidance as to what to do and what you can do. Never look back, and never leave until tomorrow that on which you can get my guidance for today. Praise the Lord. <laughs> if there's anything that could be said any simpler, it's just like, hey, I got it. I'm doing it. I'm with you. I'll tell you. All you got to do is find me, seek me, hear me, listen, and do it. Boy, don't that sound easy. Yeah, right. Dream on. Like most of us, we want to figure it out. Uh, let me see that Porsche or a VW. Boy, you know, they're both from the same company, sort of. No, we want our own way. We want to do our own thing. We don't think that, you know, in a society that teaches strong independence and freedoms, we don't think that being dependent is a virtue or being submissive is a aspect that we want to be. We think that we can do it because we are the American. It's the American way to get all that we want and what we say. But no, the truth is, is that you know, God gave us the opportunity to create freely that which we have done and miserably ruined. And to say that it's someone's fault is just not true. It is the destiny of civilizations to fail until the kingdom come. It's not that God wants to play favorites and that even though Israel is his chosen and he is going to redeem them and to bring them unto himself because they are his people as God the Father has said and he will bless them in the land because he used them all through their existence as a witness to the entire humanity and nations that the rest of civilization though hey there's ups and downs and you know God said I raised up Egypt for this reason and I did this for this reason and I'm gonna raise up that nation for this reason and bring them down with hooks in their mouth you know and cause them to attack this nation and then I'm gonna wipe them out because this is what's going to be accomplished by it and you go what so don't tell me how wonderful God is with America tell me how wonderful God is with you because he only wants you he doesn't want the nations he wants you and you are a nation, whether you know it or not. So, today, hey, look at it a different way. God said he just wants to direct you. So that means he's already uh, got you ready for hearing him. Ooh, isn't that cool? God set you up. He's speaking to you today. All you got to do is watch for it. It's coming. Don't be surprised if you hear him. And worse than that, oh my God, don't be surprised if he's got a surprise for you. <laughs> Won't that be cool? 